three, two, one, zero, zero, and liftoff. Liftoff. Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. All right, so welcome to TTM Trades. Uh, today we're going to be talking about ticker ZYNE, Zenerba Pharmaceuticals. Uh, I could really care less about the name and all that. Jumped 11% today, $1.39. Uh, let's go to the chart. We are looking at the daily. All right, so looking at the immediate trend, we are on a nice uptrend. How do we know this trend is going to continue and how do we know that it is healthy? All right, so you can see here the immediate resistance at the time was about the 10 60 10 70 area uh what about a nine dollar support which held up pretty well okay now as far as looking at the trend okay knowing that we had a 10 70 resistance when we had a first uh break of the resistance we had nice volume to follow with it right here above average volume of 977,000. had a nice little pullback and then when we broke that 11 dollar resistance here it was nice volume also above average to follow at 885,000. again we break through this resistance nice volume 1.3 million so the trend is very healthy how do we know it is going to stay consistent all right long as the volume every time we make a new high there's a nice volume spike behind it then we should be good to go okay uh, one of my tips and tricks is the rsi that I follow on the RSI is a momentum indicator, right? It measures the momentum if we're in a uh, downtrend, uptrend, you know, range, so on and so forth. So I keep a 10 period and 30 period moving average on my RSI. My RSI right here, 14 period. The yellow is my 10 period. The 30 is my, uh, the green is my 30 period moving average, excuse me. So as you can see, when we stay below the 10 period moving average, that lets us know that the momentum is in a downtrend. It's not healthy for buyers to jump in. Maybe shorts to ride the wave down, but not buyers. So we stay out of this, okay? As long as we're under that 10 period moving average. Once we cross up and over and get a nice bounce support right here, as you can see, that lets me know that the momentum is shifting. As you can see, the line as it follows look at the price action so as long as we stay above that 10 period moving average that lets me know that the momentum is shifting right it looks like it's healthy for buyers to jump in here as you can see the base forms take a nice little dip but we find support on the 30 period moving average and we get that nice little bounce again as you can see we're staying above the 30 and the 10 period moving average exactly right here so as long as my rsi is indicating that we're staying above that 10 period moving average and finding a 30 period as support in the case of pullbacks, then I know that the trend is healthy and we should stay in. Now, where do we get out at? All right. If we look at this drop over here to our left, when we drop down into the $15, $12 area, it was a nice volume right here. And then also right here. So our next resistance I see is in the $15 range. So if I was trying to set my exits, it'll probably be right at 15 because once we hit that, I feel a lot of people may take profits and you'll get a slight pullback. So let's go out to the weekly since we're breaking out of our Bollinger Bands right here. Let's see what the weekly holds. So we zoom over to the weekly. Same thing. RSI broke through the 10 periods. It's holding a well. Broke above the 30. It's holding well above, above it. It lets me know that the trend is nice and healthy. Now, looking back, our 50 period moving average, right? Little dash brown line is right at 1575. Okay, so if I was to set my stop loss, I would take my profits right in the $15, $16 range, wait on a pullback, and then jump back in, um, and then go from there. All right, you got any questions? I'll let you pull.